Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at some personalization of the taskbar, which actually can be more handy than you'd realize. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at some taskbar personalization. Now, for me personally, this is actually a really handy thing to do, as you can see, or possibly you're aware I am recording this in OBS Studio. Now currently for OBS Studio, the only icon I have showing is down the bottom here to show that it's actually recording. But I quite like to have the option to be able to right click and choose to either stop and start recording if I'm recording segments, that kind of thing. Now unfortunately, if I wanna do that at the moment, I have to click on the up arrow here in the taskbar to show the overflow items, which point then I can see the OBS Studio option, I can right click on it and I can choose either stop recording, start recording, all that kind of stuff. So that's a little bit inconvenient. I'd rather just be able to see on the taskbar where it is. So there's two ways we can actually change this and actually for anything which is appearing in your overflow here. So such as Steam, your Stream Deck, maybe other settings for Epic or your MSI Center, all those kinds of things. So you can access it in a number of ways. So one of which is an easy one. You can right click on an empty section of the taskbar here and you can choose taskbar settings and that will bring up the taskbar menu. Alternatively, if you want to, you can actually right click on the Windows flag, choose settings, go into personalization and then you can choose taskbar, which will essentially bring up the same thing. So if you want to have more options or more icons appearing down in this section here in the right hand side, what you want to choose is taskbar corner overflow. So if we click on the down arrow here and scroll down a little bit, these are all the applications which are available to be seen in that section. Now, as you can see, Microsoft, because they want you to use OneDrive, have automatically enabled OneDrive to be on. So if you want to enable any of these, all you do is just change the toggle. So for me, I want OBS Studio. And as you can see already, the OBS Studio icon is now visible. And it's quite nice sometimes to see the Windows security one. So we'll have that as well. And actually Steam as well is quite useful, MSI Center, and also our Epic Games Launcher for when we want a quick go on Fortnite. So that is a pretty simple and easy way of doing it. Obviously, if you don't like the changes or you don't want to have this, you can do the exact opposite and you can just remove them all. The choice is entirely up to you. So let's go back to how we were. And there we go, I'm pretty happy with that selection. So now if I want to stop recording, I can just right click on OBS Studio and choose stop recording, which I'm going to do any second now. If you want to see more content on this on a daily basis, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the chime notification and you'll see me in your daily feeds. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.